welcome back to my channel so i noticed i didn't do an intro for you guys for this video so basically what we're gonna do in this video is just um fry some fish so va a ser mojarra frita that's how i know it um we're going to season it three ways the first way is with a pure valentina just valentina on it and it's delicious just leave it marinating you know for at least an hour the second is your typical like sprinkle of the um seafood seasoning that you use and the third one is my husband's favorite which is the green salsa and the green salsa consists of tomatillo serrano jalapeno garlic onion cilantro and a little bit of salt the key to this is entre más jalapeño y garlic le pongas like the more the more jalapeño and garlic you put on it the better it tastes you guys so if you're gonna do that make sure you put like a bunch of it like i know it's gonna be like what are you talking about that's too much Put like a bunch of it and trust me, it's gonna taste delicious. And also, if you could leave it marinating overnight, your results are gonna turn out way, way better. But if you can't, just at least leave it for an hour so that it could really, really soak into, you know, the um, actual fish skin. Like it tastes really, really good. So that's one. And then also, I noticed that I didn't even show you guys how we, um, how we cure the little casito. It's not casito, it's a disco. I think it's called a disco. I don't know, I know it from the I know it as disco, uh comalito, like there's just like a bunch of things that I know, a bunch of names I know this like little, you know, um aluminum thing. Okay guys, so basically what you're gonna wanna do to your little um disco before you use it, obviously, this is not a metal thing, but just pretend it's the disco, okay? So you're gonna get some lime, you're gonna put some salt on it, so just like you know, pour some salt like in a bowl or something and just like pat it in. And you're just gonna wanna do this, the whole, get your lime and just go directly around and around and around. Make sure you really get into like all the spots because that is gonna make your food taste way better. I don't know if it's true or not, but we just, we've been doing it for like ever and ever and ever, like in my, where I'm from, do it like that. And to this day, we haven't had, you know, food taste like metal, so it's good, I guess. So yeah, just make sure if you're gonna use a disco or um, un caso or lo que sea, Make sure you cure it before you actually use it. That way your food comes out delicious. Another thing, do not expect me to look like this at the end of the video, it's a whole different day. And just that day I wanted to, I wanted to cook and my husband's like, you're not gonna record and I'm like, oh my gosh, yes, I should totally record this. So I recorded it, but I look like a train wreck. Like I look disgusting at the end. Just letting you guys know. Be prepared for that. Number three also is, um, I'm gonna show you guys where we get our fish from out here in Sacramento. If you didn't know by now, I am from, I do live in Sacramento. I'm originally from the LA area down in San Fernando. That Those are like, that's my turf, like that's my, the valley, San Fernando Valley, that's where I'm from originally, but I live out in Sacramento now. So the spots out here are kind of different, but I mean, you have to adapt to what you have around. And this is like the best place that I found fresh fish to do this kind of dish don't forget to subscribe and click that little bell notification so you could be notified every time i upload a video because <laughs> i like to you know throw a little surprise videos here and there so you guys without any further ado let's get on to today's recipe this is where we go it's on footridge and stockton boulevard we're back we just got five um fishes they gutted them and they cleaned them off for us already but i'm going to give them a quick rinse and then I'm gonna um, marinate them. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and make the salsa to marinate the fish. Now my husband likes this green salsa. It's just a normal green salsa, tomatillos, some serranos, one fourth of an onion, a little bunch of cilantro, and I have here three garlic cloves, start salt to taste, and it just depends on what your taste is. I'm gonna toast them. In the comal. If you don't have a comal, you could go ahead and just put them on alum aluminum foil, leave them on the flame for about 20 minutes. Put them on there. And then the serranos, so just make sure it's moving around. Just cook them, make sure it's nice and toasted. You want something like this. You see they're starting to change color. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them in my blender to a little bit of salt. Add your cilantro, and I added one the juice of one lime. guys so since we're gonna be cooking outside we actually have this or these cover you guys know it i know it as a bunch of different names so since it's the first time we're using this one we have to 
give it a nice clean with lemon and salt. Otherwise, whatever you make is going is going to taste like metal. For the salad that's going to accompany the fish, we're going to go ahead and get some cabbage, the juice of the jalapenos, tomatoes, some limes, and an onion. So we're going to go ahead and wash and chop. You want to cut them in very thin slices like this. So go ahead and chop your tomato the way you want it. I actually had them a little bigger and I didn't think they were that cute. Now we're going to take our limes. I have about five limes and we're going to take all of them. This is to taste, you guys. Like it depends on how you want it, how sour, how salty. We have all our five limes in there. I'm gonna go ahead and add some vinegar from the jalapenos, so the jalapeno juice. Taste it, make sure it's good in salt and lime, and also, it's totally optional, but if you wanna go ahead and add a little bit of tomato, tomato sauce, it's gonna give it a really good taste. I have here a little bit of tomato sauce, I'm just gonna go ahead and put that in there. Okay guys, so this is how we're gonna do first. Those have the green salsa on them. We put some onion inside and ahí están los pescados in the green sauce. And he's just putting them in there. fish we actually just went ahead and seasoned it with this seasoning right here and then the other ones are seasoned with the green sauce <laughs> guys for better results if you really want it to taste like that green salsa or that chile or you know whatever you're marinating marinating it with leave it overnight so the, the fish could you know take all those aromas in and take all those seasonings in into the skin and all that so if you could leave it overnight that's actually great if you can't just make sure you leave it at least an hour on there before you put it in your guys there it is pair it with some rice your little cabbage mixture a lime tortillas a nice cold coke and you got some nice pescado. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to follow me on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, all that good stuff. And obviously here on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.